Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Welcome to this edition of Topic of the Day. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the CRISPR gene editing. So recently this topic has come up in news as CRISPR Cas9, which is a gene editing technology, has completed 10 years of its innovation. Now this topic is important from both prelims and mains perspective, especially from GS3 science and technology. So first of all let us discuss what is gene editing and then we will talk about a brief overview of how the crispr cas9 works so gene or genome editing refers to technology that permits to change an organism's dna when we say genome it is complete set of the genetic information of any organism now this genome is stored in long molecules of dna also known as the chromosomes the gene editing technology allows the genetic material to be added removed or altered at any particular location inside the genome now when we say gene what does it mean gene is considered the basic unit of inheritance and is passed from parents to the offspring and contains the information needed to specify the physical and the biological traits of any organism now another term is dna that stands for deoxyribonucleic acid so dna is a molecule that carries genetic information for the development and functioning of an organism now each molecule of dna is a double helix here double helix is a term that is used to describe the physical structure of a dna so a dna is formed from two complementary strands of nucleotides that are held together by hydrogen bonds now what are the nucleotides these are organic molecules consisting of nucleoside and phosphates therefore dna structure looks something like this There are many approaches to gene editing and one amongst them is the CRISPR Cas9. So first of all this word CRISPR stands for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeat. We will see what is this. And then Cas9 is a protein enzyme that helps to edit the gene. So CRISPR Cas9 is a technology that enables geneticists and medical researchers to edit parts of genome by removing, adding or altering the sections of the DNA. So CRISPR Cas9 was adopted from a naturally occurring genome editing system that bacteria used as an immune defense mechanism. Now the CRISPR Cas9 system consists of two key molecules. First of all, we have the Cas9 which is a protein enzyme that acts as a pair of molecular scissors. Another one is a guide RNA that is the gRNA which consists of small pieces of pre-designed RNA sequence which is about 20 bases long. So let us see how this mechanism works in a bacteria. Now the bacterial cell has a circular genome that consists of a Cas gene and a CRISPR region. So we have the Cas gene and we have a CRISPR region. Now this Cas region makes the Cas protein or the Cas protein enzyme and the CRISPR region in the bacterial membrane has repeats of the genome sequence of the bacteria and in between it has spaces. Now the question is how these CRISPR arrays are being created. So when infected with any virus, the bacteria captures small pieces of the virus DNA and insert them into their own DNA in a particular pattern to create segments which are known as the CRISPR arrays. So as you can see these are the genome sequences and these are separated by some spaces. And these genome sequences are palindromic repeats. What does this mean? For example, if you have a DNA code G A T C A so a palindromic repeat means it will be same from the opposite side so if you inverse this you have G A T C A so this genome sequence is a palindromic repeat now if the virus attacks again this bacteria produces rna segments from this crispr array that recognizes and attaches to the specific regions of the virus dna the bacteria then uses the cas9 protein to cut the dna apart which disables the virus so this is the method used by bacteria that creates immunity against the viruses so the researchers have adapted this particular mechanism to edit the dna of any organism which is termed as the crispr cas9 we also have some other genome editing systems like the talens the zinc finger nucleases if we talk about the application it can be used to create animal models to mimic the human diseases edit genes in human embryos change the genetic codes of crops to improve the crop resilience also in the treatment of diseases and industrial uses etc the nobel prize for chemistry in the year 2020 was given to emmanuel charpentier and jennifer doudna 
for the development of the crispr cas9 technique now let us discuss some of the negatives of the gene editing first of all there are ethical concerns the ethical concerns arise when genome editing particularly using the technology like the crispr cas9 is used to alter the human genomes as the modification is unnatural and it amounts to disturbing god's creation further on there are some safety concerns because the slight changes made at the smallest level may lead to unexpected results moreover this gene therapy is really costly so it can only act as rich people's tool further on genetically engineering our species will have a detrimental effect on our genetic diversity so it will be definitely a huge gift for mankind if it is used with proper laws and there is a control over its usage well this was a little bit about this topic let us now take up one practice question what is the cas9 protein that is often mentioned in the news a it is a molecular scissors used in targeted gene editing b it is a biosensor used in the accurate detection of pathogens in patients c a gene that makes plants pest resistant and d it is a herbicidal substance synthesized in the genetically modified crops you can write your answers in the comment section below so as we know cas9 protein acts as a molecular scissors and it is used in the targeted gene editing Therefore, the correct answer is option A. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.